<sighs> Who am I? Where am I? When am I? Ah, oh, let me take a look at myself. Ah, I'm Steve! What the world? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently I went to bed, woke up, and now I'm Steve. How did... <laughs> huh? Oh, well, I guess Minecraft skin servers are down. Haven't been skin Steve for a long time, so... Uh, I mean, that's just the way it is. Ne anyway, um, yep, I'm back on the rack. Uh... The random acts of crafting server and I know it's been a long time I have been away for a while and I haven't been uh, totally away from the server I have been on for here and there mainly gathering some materials let me show you what I got here not a whole lot I've been doing a lot of branch mining haven't found any diamonds but I have gone through a lot of gravel which means I do have quite a bit of flint here to make arrows with. Uh, I also have uh, gotten a lot of redstone. I'm going to need a lot more for what I plan to do, but this is a good start. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't come across more iron. I haven't come across much gold. I haven't come across any diamond. I have come across a lot of emerald here. We're under the extreme hills biome, so yeah, I got that going for me. Uh, I'm going to be here for a bit cooking up uh, this uh, uh, stone, this uh, cobblestone, in order to make smooth stone because I'm going to need that for my building projects. I'm also going to go up to the surface. I do have a bit of wood here, but I need some more, and I need more variety of wood. So I'm going to be gathering some more resources here, but in the meantime, I feel like Pee Wee Herman. In the meantime, I want you to watch this video. Yeah, I, this is just going to be, um, I guess, a little bit of a uh, montage, I guess, or just some clips from some of the recording I've done here while I've been out gathering some resources down there, uh, exploring this cave system, which actually connects to, uh, it looks like a structure that someone has built and maybe extended this way. It could just be a really fancy uh, branch mining system. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to show you some clips of that while I cook up my cobblestone into smooth stone. And then we are going to, I'm going to tell you some news, some Twitch related news. And that's probably going to be this episode. Uh, kind of short, maybe. Uh, it depends on how much of the, these clips I decide to show you. But the next thing I'm going to do is is a Twitch live feed. So once I once you, after, at the end of the montage, I'll give you some information about that, um, and then um, and that'd be this episode. So hold on, Steve. Uh, I got some big stuff planned for for this build, and I've been thinking a lot about it. Not was wasn't sure after I logged off last time. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to actually do this. Uh, for oh, someone's been busy around here, <laughs> and actually, someone said that this was originally a prank, but that the the person they pranked kind of liked it, so they kept it. Uh, so that's interesting. I've done that before. Okay, so what am I doing now? I am in the process of building a floating island, which is what we are going to be living on here in the spawn town. Uh, I haven't done this before, so I'm not even sure the best way to go about this. I just kind of want to get me something set up here that's that looks decent. Oops. And then I'll expand from there. I am going to have to go and get me a place to sleep. We are also going to, in order to finish this build, I'm going to have to go and find some additional resources. Right now I have very little. I only have uh, some armor, some some diamond armor, some wood, uh, some various small little things. So I'm going to have to go do some resource finding. Uh, let me get some sleep and then I'll meet you in the morning. We're probably going to go right away and, and strike it out, find the cave to do some caving. Here it is. It's morning. I just dropped off a bunch of stuff here. We're getting ready to go out. I decided I want to kind of go over the mountain. Do I? Or the ocean looks very good. Mountain or ocean? I don't need to go too far because I'm not going to find a permanent location. I just want to go find an unexplored cave and get some resources. Um, hmm. 
I will go that way eventually for my uh, for my permanent residence but for right now just to get this base done I'm gonna go over this mountain now I do have the resources I need to make a bed if I so desire uh, but for right now I think I'm, I'm pretty good on everything I got extra iron if I need it I got diamond equipment I'm hoping to find some more iron so I can make some more uh, iron tools because for basic run and mill stuff like what I'm about to do, it would be nice to have something that I could wear down and not have to worry about it. Diamonds are kind of rare. <laughs> and even though I got these diamond tools as a gift from Gurley, uh, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, because if I'm not, I, I apologize. But uh, but Gurley got, gave me some um, some diamond equipment last episode. Ay, ay, ay. Which has been a big help, but I want to keep that stuff because I eventually want to get some enchantments on. If I can put some unbreaking on this, on some of these diamond pieces here, then I'll be able to use them longer and won't have to go through so many diamonds. It'd also be great if I can get some fortune onto something. But right now, because I haven't done much other than dig up dirt and put down buckets of water, I don't have much experience, I don't have many resources, I don't have anything. So let's see, I'm going to continue up over this mountain. I'll cut back in once I find, find an actual cave uh, to go digging around in. I'm not sure how much of this part of it I'm going to record, but I just wanted to record a little something because uh, it's been a while since I've been on here. Uh, hold on. Hello, I'm not too far off. I'm back. I'm not too far off from where I was before. Um, actually, I'm just right over the other side of the mountain. You can see the mega tree up there. It looks like somebody has a spot picked out right there. Because I I got up here on the mountain and thought, man, why didn't I pick the top of the mountain as a place to start? But someone else has already chosen that spot there. So, hey, that's okay. I'm going to like what I'm going to do down below. And it's going to be easier to go in and out of. Uh, but for right now, this spot looks like it has the resources I need. I should be able to get clay here, which I'm going to need. I'm going to need some glass, uh, so I, I need, need the sand that's over there. Also sandstone uh, for the build I'm going to do. And there's a cave that looks unexplored, so I'm going to drop on down there. Ready? Cannibal! Okay. Okay, that looks promising. Okay, so we're going to head on down here and get myself established and start getting some resources uh but yeah like i said my son is asleep right now but that's a temporary thing like always so and my wife you know she's wants some time to rest and i can't blame her for that oh oh, oh he has a chanted boat come on come on so i'm just kind of just getting on, getting some play in, because I could use some playtime as well. And But once he wakes up, I'm going to go and tend to him, so we'll see how far I can get in this episode before that happens. Anyway, let's see. This is... Okay, good. I was afraid we are going back up, which means it would have been a dead end, and that would have been annoying. It's kind of starting to look a little dead in, like... Nope, nope, nope. So got a bit of an opening. Cool, and it's a lively little hole in the ground. Come on, come on. Ah, there's more than one way to do this. Hello. Ouch, I knew you were going to do that. There. <laughs> okay, so now we, we're getting down into the nitty gritty here. And this does, it is looking like this is going to serve my needs very well. So I'm going to be down here caving for a while. I already got to see a lot of iron. Uh, so I can't wait to start digging into all that. Just want to get some things lit up here, make this a little safer. And so I'm going to cut out here and cut back in in a bit. Uh, that way I can do some more, get some caving done. As much caving done as I can before my son wakes up. So, yep, see you in a bit. Let me see before he gets up here. <laughs> because let's see I'm trying to figure out how I want to have this all set up basically I don't want that let me take this down and I'm going to make this kind of into a little entrance here I'm going to cut this back like that and then um, I think I'm going to put a 
gate there. Now, I don't have a whole lot of wood to spend on a lot of projects, but I think you can put that there like that. I do need to go back up to the surface at some point to get some more wood to replenish tools and stuff, but for right now, I think this kind of works. Come here. Uh, what's going on? I want your gold armor. Huh? I got, I'm getting some serious lag here. There we go. There we go. Ooh, creepers! Ooh! <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to continue working on here. I'm going to go down there eventually get some resources. Uh, and I'll cut back in when I do that. I think I'm going to have to go check on something here. Hold on. Uh, so I'm here on the Random Action Crafting Server. Started my spawn build, and I'm trying to get some resources so I can continue that. The thing is, is one of the resources I need is wood. So, working down this jungle tree, which is the fastest, most efficient way I know of to get wood, is to take down this giant jungle tree. Okay, here I am back in my forward operating base, and I got a visitor with an enchanted bow. I want that bow. Give me that bow. There we go, there we go. Okay, come on, please drop the bow. Ah, oh well. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I got some work to do. I don't want to get too much down here because um, the way I'm work doing this server is um, I'm not going to do like a straight let's play like I do my... Oh, I did get the bow. What did I get? Power 2, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to play this like I have been my other servers. Uh, basically because I just don't have the time to do so. Uh, Rent, the, the unnamed server is my main server for the time being. Um, and this server as well as the other servers that I play on, well this server is going to be mainly for the multiplayer aspect. I'm going to be doing a lot of builds that kind of, <laughs> what am I putting that in the crafting table for? I'm going to be doing a lot of builds here that I don't normally even think of doing on any of the other servers. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, for example, the the house I'm building in Spawn is going to be a floating structure uh, once it's all said and done. Um, the the larger structure I'm going to build out in the world is going to be a floating structure as well. I'm also going to be building a lot of smaller buildings attached to that. And so my whole idea with this um, this server is I'm going to do some tutorials, some building tutorials here. I'm also going to be just doing some large projects. I'm going to be doing some some grinder building. And I do know how to build grinders, even though normally I, I don't. So I'm going to be doing some grinder build, builds. I'm going to be exploring builds by other people and seeing if I can, what I can, if I can add my own little twist on it. Considering I do want everything to kind of fit in the survival world kind of thing, um, and because I'm going to be crunched on time, that means I'm going to be looking at building things very efficiently, very quickly. So I think that's something a lot of other people will will benefit from seeing. So that's the kind of stuff I'm planning to do on the server from here on out. Um, I'm going to cut out a lot of the the more tedious things that that I tend to do when I'm playing on the server, uh, such, such as a lot of this caving work I'm about to start on right here. Uh, Basically, I'm just going to go do some cave. I'll capture some parts, capture some of the most exciting parts, and bring that back. But I don't want to spend too long in this cave. I want to get up to the surface, get that house, spawn house built. That's not going to be this episode. That's hopefully going to be the next episode. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything I need together, and so I can do that next time. Okay? Uh, hold on. Be right back. Okay, I think it's time to go straight down um, just because it's I, I think I'm gonna to need to do some branch mining on this one okay now this is a surprise I mean well not too much I mean of course 
This is Minecraft. There are caves. <laughs> uh, looks like I or somebody else has been down here before. Uh, let's light this up a little bit so I don't get any surprises behind. Oh, there's some gold. Could use that a little bit. Oh, more gold. Lots of gold down here. And lots of torches. Oh, okay, I think I know what this is. And in case you can hear in the background, I think it's going to be about time for me to hang it up here pretty soon. Um, I'll be back in a bit. Hold on. Okay, uh, family crisis averted, <laughs> and I'm back here. Uh, I did do a little looking around down here and realized... Oh, yeah, I remember why I did this. I realized those aren't my can't, my torches. They're not laid out in the same pattern that I lay out mine. So, apparently I've intercepted somebody else's uh, mine here. I don't think that's a problem. Uh, I'm just going to keep mining like I like I have been. Try, and what I'm doing, just... Ooh, spooky. Uh, we're going to come move across here and as I go up I'm going to start mining this way going across on both sides and then um, I'm going to start have a branch mining level here I'm going to go up there and then start doing the same thing on that level and just seeing what I can get what I can gather I'm going to try to work as quickly as possible because I don't have a lot of time my families uh, are going to get anxious and Besides, it's getting close to dinner time, and I am the guy, it's my turn to cook dinner tonight, so um, I'm going to keep working here for a little bit, see how much I can gather. I'm going to show you what I get when it's all done. Hold on. Hmm. I was branch mining, I came, I was branch mining over here. Uh, came down, came down to, to level 7, started branch mining over here. Everything was cool, even got... Ta-da! I got an emerald and a lot of cobblestone, some redstone. This is a good start for the redstone. Uh, and some iron and some gold and all that stuff is pretty cool. Came this way, was digging through here, got some more redstone, and apparently this is someone else's... Looks like someone else's something. Like, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Hmm... Anything in here? Oh, okay. Oh, this might be someone else's branch mine. And maybe they were getting, cooking, may, may have had furnaces on here, cooking up some smooth stone. There's a lot of these around here, here and there. Interesting. I have no clue whose space this is. I'm starting to get lost. <laughs> so that's interesting. I thought I was way out in the hills, but apparently I'm not as far out as I thought I was. Uh, there's. It looks like if I had continued branch mining this way, that way, just a little farther, I probably would have ran into that a lot sooner. Anyway, I'm going to take my hole back up and put it in the chest, get some things smelting up, and think about what I'm going to do here, and I'll meet you up there at FOB. Gold. And redstone. Put them together, you have a clock. <laughs> and it's nice, it tells me it's the sun is starting to set, uh, which is useful information, because I was thinking about going up to spawn. But since the sun set, it'll be dark by the time I get there. I decided to go on ahead and start cooking up this stone. For the build I have at spawn, I'm going to need a lot of smooth stone to finish it off, as well as some dirt. I got that here. So I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to put some, some smooth stone in here, keep that cooking up. Which is good, because it's also going to give me much needed XP, which I'm going to use to enchant some of these items here once I get back to spawn as well. So all in all, pretty good haul. I got my clock, I got some redstone to get started. I'm going to need a lot more redstone before my project's finished, but this is enough to get me started. Um, and I'm going to continue working on this. Uh, once again, I it's been, to be honest, it's been about two weeks since the last time I've done a new recording. Uh, fortunately, usually when I get on, I can record me several episodes in one setting and release them over time. 
unfortunately with the baby here that is not as easy as it once was so I'm going to continue to try to record I apologize if I don't get as much content out as I normally would like hopefully you'll under hopefully you guys will understand and I promise as soon as I can I'll try to get more content for you um, as soon as possible I do have a plan for this server for for my builds and so I really want to put those together with you guys I realize with all my different series I got on I don't have a lot of <laughs> episodes for each one uh, but anyway I'm gonna keep working on that hello this is Steve and Jaden Max asked me to tell you about his twitch live feed coming up I'm just kidding, it's me, Jade Max, and in my Steve skin. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed that that month, that bit of whatever you would call that. Um, basically, I'm still down here. This is my hidey hole that I, that I found that day. Uh, still getting some stuff together. If I take a look over here, you can see that I'm still gathering. I'm currently cooking up a bunch of smooth stone. And so I'm going to be here... Uh, camping out for a bit, cooking up this smooth stone, uh, in preparation for my building project. In uh, two or three, uh, in two or three days. I'm sorry, my voice. Uh, as I've said repeatedly, my voice has been <laughs> not doing too well lately. Uh, what can I say? It's winter. The air is dry. The Chinese air is poisonous. Uh, that's just the way it is. Um, Saturday evening. Uh, Japan time where I am I'll be doing a twitch live stream I'm not quite sure of exactly the time in which I'll be starting uh, it'll be sometime in the evening around probably eight o'clock ish uh, by Japan standard time uh, please uh, follow me on Twitter uh, Jaden Max uh, and I will give you I will send out details on that uh, as soon as I know them uh, I'll also send you details whatever details I need to send you in order to find my twitch feed keep in mind I've never actually even seen a twitch feed before at this point so um, I'm looking forward to learning how to do it and to share my first uh, twitch live stream with you guys uh, here in Minecraft uh, whatever this is <laughs> we now have access to in-game twitch streaming so I'm gonna be trying that out for the very first time um, and I'll be here on the Red and Max of crafting server building my spawn home I know some of you guys have been wondering what I'm going to be doing. I've been away from the server for a long time, so I figured it's appropriate that I start here with that project. Okay, so please tune in for that Saturday evening. That's a time to be announced. Follow me at Jaden Max on, on Twitter, and I will give you that information out. I'll also probably will for fans of the random uh, for fans of the unnamed server. I might be putting something there. Um, I'll also probably will do a quick video here to kind of update people on that. Uh, I'm a very busy man, very busy man, but I will try, I cross my heart and, and tr will try to give you as much information as you can on that. Anyway, this is Jaden Max, hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please give me a subscribe, and it would be nice if you hit that like button too. Yeah, it would be. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. But that's just the nature of the game. AI for the NPC vehicles on the road needs some work. They don't necessarily, oh, here's a good example. Uh, they don't merge well. So usually when they have to merge, they just come to a standstill, they come to a stop. And I don't know what conditions under which they move. Sometimes they'll just kind of jump out in front of you. Other times they'll just kind of sit there. So you kind of have to be aware of that. But for the most part, they do act a lot like real-world vehicles. That I'm sure really happens in, in real life. Things that probably drive truckers mad. Matter of fact, I've seen the drivers on this game do things that I know I've done in the past. And now, through playing this game, I've become more aware of that. And, and I've tried to, to, to be more careful myself as a driver. 
So I guess this game is, you know, it does a public service as well as is a fun game to play. Oh,